YouTube, Adam Sab123 here, and today I'm going to be telling you something very simple, and that's how to modify your save files for Borderlands 2. Now, a lot of people thought that this was impossible, considering the fact that, you know, it's on a Mac and all that, but thanks to a program, it's completely possible and it's really easy to do. So, the first step in modifying your save files is you're going to want to go to the first link in the description. It's going to lead to this site with this uh, app right here and you're going to want to click on download. Now that's going to give you a zip file and um, well you're going to want to save it and it's going to give you a zip file. Zip files you open it with like uh, the archive or something like that. Something that deals with zip files anyways. I'm sure you guys already know about that. So the next thing you're going to want to do once you unzip that is get the uh, get the app itself and in my case it's on my dock now and you're just going to want to click on it. Now a lot of people are confused about this because they look at it and they say, well there's nothing. The taskbar has changed and the taskbar is now the border tool, the border tool to taskbar. And how you're going to want to modify your save files now is go to file, open, and unless you have your library in some sort of quick tab, what you're going to want to do is go to the Macintosh HD, find users, find your name, and then you're going to want to find library, application support, over here, Borderlands 2, Willow game, save data, whatever number folder it's in, and then you find, and then you take either your your, prof your profile bin file um, and with that you're able to change the amount of uh, golden keys and whatnot or you take the save file and let's say I were to take the save file this is what would happen so right here you can see you can modify your level you can modify your experience points and let's say I give myself 9 billion experience points well my level is going to change automatically you can change your playthrough playtime skill points your overpower, the amount of money that you have for any currency, um, the SDUs that you have for that you buy with Iridium, change your skills, change how many uh, points are in those skills, stats, well that's not really that useful. Weapons, you can actually add weapons into your inventory. In my case I don't need it because I'd rather play the game normally. But let's say you wanted to add a weapon, you would simply click add weapon and then modify everything that you would want here and you can even make it so that you get a uh, legendary uh, for example once I gave myself an emperor just to test it out and all that I was testing out the border tool I mean and it worked completely fine everything was perfect uh, although I must warn you it does take a lot of fun out of the game and I would highly suggest also making a backup of your save game right before doing any sort of modifications like this because it's still in beta doesn't work a, like it works 100% but there's still some bugs in it so uh, yes uh, you can also add items change whatever you want in here you can add weapons uh, or remove them even from the bank and uh, I believe that in the bin file uh, you can actually uh, modify what's in claptrap stash so you can have whatever weapons you want in there and you can just add them remove them however you want you don't even need to have the weapon, you just click add and then you make your weapon. Also for the missions, this is interesting, but can ultimately break your game. You can complete missions. Uh, so let's say I were to, uh, say this mission, Pete the Invincible, alright, I, I didn't beat it because holy crap, he's, I haven't figured it out yet. So as you can see, it's available, it's possible to do, but you can change different things that you want to do in there. You can reset the missions that you're able to do it all over again. Imagine doing my first gun all over again. Well, you could. Anyways, so that's it for the save file. So let's open the profile and see what we have here. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, golden keys, you can change the total, you can change the amount that you spent. So because of this, the 10 and the 9, it means that I only have one golden key left. I can easily change this just by clicking on it and let's say changing it to zero this would make it so that I have 10 golden keys of course I'm going to keep it to 9 because I like playing the game regularly your badass ranks you can change that it's very simple to do you can even uh, manually change your stats for example uh, 
let's say I want the gun damage to be at 7.2. All right, well, there, it's at 7.2, you know, th things like that. But you can even hold it down, and it'll, like, go by itself. And you can go to insane levels with this. It's, fu it's fun to mess around with, but, again, it could make your game less fun to play. Over here, I'm... Th this is uh, basically for, like, costumes and all that. Uh, so, like, let's say I were to find a, uh, a skin for my character, which is a Mechromancer. Alright, so, available, you can click on it, and the little use tab here, it means whether or not you're going to get the little new symbol beside it. So, let's say I were to click on this, well, it would make it so that I would see the item, I would be able to equip it, but it would still have new written beside it. If I would go like this, it would make it so that the new, the little new thing isn't beside it kind of useful if you want to get rid of some uh, new tabs like for example this I'm gonna put it on used because you know I don't want to have that little new thing beside it all the time and claptrap stash again like I said as you can add the weapons you know however however you want it to be uh, it's really something fun to mess around with and um, that's pretty much it uh, I'm not gonna save this in case I modified something that I didn't want to but after that simply start your game and everything will be fine everything will be modified and that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is amzab123 signing out